So what's a hero? A hero is a person who owns that adventure, not, not for their own edification or beatification or gratification, but to be of service. Mm -hmm. So a hero is someone who comes from a, um, a, a place of, of willful submission to the universe in a certain sense and says, I am here to be of service, you know, lead me, show me. I'm willing, do they I'm start willing. out that way or do they end up that way? I, mean, that... Um, I think they, some start out that way. You know, they just, just call to adventure. Some people, you know, hear a little bird singing in the forest and go off to examine it. Other people stand on the edge of the forest until you know, somebody comes along and gives them a shove from behind and they're now sub suddenly in the woods. So mm -hmm. it's different. And sometimes, you know, you, you, sometimes you have an adventure like this and everything's just great. You get back, oh, that was a piece of cake. I have no problem. Let's go do it again. And the next time you get slammed mm. and you come back and go, oh, 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 you know, I'm, I'm really comfortable in bed here. I really don't need to go explore that forest again, but you will, mm. you will, or otherwise you're just going to shrivel up and die in bed. So there's something you know, about the hero's journey that you may not start with the intention of being a hero, but something about life pushes you towards into this. I don't, yeah, I don't think you ever start with being a hero. Yeah. I, I, I think you start with being a questioner or uh -huh. something once answered or there's some dissatisfaction or there's something that is seeking resolution and then you go off and you have this adventure and the adventure to me seems like a, a series of challenges that are like dependent on your ego resistance right like the the more ego resistance you have to what's going on the more intense the challenges will be it seems yeah, yeah and you just got to you know the, the recognizing this 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 cycle, you, you, you can come to see what, what's happening to you and, you and you also come away with some faith in your own, in your own ability, recognition that the universe is not going to give you more than you can deal with, although mm -hmm. it's sure going to feel like it sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you, 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 re you have faith in the fact that it is this cycle. You know, again, Campbell's saying the, the saddest thing is a man who spent his whole life climbing a ladder only to get to the top and discover it's against the wrong wall. But we all have this idea that, you know, it's a straight shot from cradle to grave. And, you know, it's, it's a straight path. And I've, I always cite my friend, the former, you know, the Harry Chapin, and he says, there's no, no straight lines make up my life and all my roads have bends. There's, there's no clear cut beginnings and no, so far, no dead ends. And that's the other part about it. You don't really know when it's beginning. You know, don't you don't really say, "Oh, I'm going to go across this threshold into the forest today." No, no. Yeah. Oh, what's that bird? Or, you know, why is that phone ringing? Um, it's not that clear. It's cut. not a clear cut beginning, and it doesn't really end. When you get back, you're back. You're changed, but the situation's changed, and and so a new new recounting is necessary.